Gosh, what's with you guys bothering me? Just got out of the damn shower and I'm getting weird questions on the damn YouTube stuff. Jeez. Ah, uh, this interrupted me. Well, it didn't. It just I was finishing up. There's a guy named Kip Kronick. Kip Kronick. Let's see what this thing says. Kip Kronick. Kip Kronick 202. 202. Kip Kronick 202. And looking at his profile, he's from... Oh, wow. He's from uh, Mexico City, Mexico. Oh, wow. Kip Kronick from Mexico City, Mexico. And he's asking me, uh, do you have any advice about relationships? And have you been in any relationships that really, really bothered you, that really sucked? Basically, that's what he's saying. Um, his message is about that friggin' long. Okay, well, I'll do a quick video about what I think while I'm trying to towel off here. Jeez. Um, relationships, well, it depends on what relationship it's all about. If you're a guy with a guy or a guy with a girl or a girl with a girl or a guy with several girls and a guy and a guy with two girls and two guys or a girl with two girls and eight guys, I don't know. So whatever your relationship is. Uh, whatever advice I can tell you is try to keep it honest and try to keep it up front. It's the best thing you can really do about it. Um, since you're asking about my case, um, the last girlfriend I had was back in 2000, geez, 2005. I met a nice girl in Israel while I was stationed in Egypt. Her name was Alexandria Gorin. She was a Russian-Israeli mix or whatever. She was a nice girl. She was a bartender. Um, I'm not sure who she was messing around with on the side, but she was a good girl. I got along great with her. I was, at the time, what, 42, 43? She was like 20, 21. She was into rocker and metal guys, So, and there's not that many in Israel at that time. Um, the relationship didn't really work out too well. I mean, it was okay for a few months until you start having problems. Um, some of the American girls I had back in the day. Um, the idea is to try to keep yourself as mysterious as possible. Don't just dump out everything to a girl about your whole life in one date. Then she loses interest. The idea is to give her little snippets, little details, but don't really tell her a lot. Keep the, you know, keep it going for each date or each time you guys hook up. Tell her a little bit of different stuff, a little bit about your family, your background, or whatever you do. Keep them interested, you know, because guys will do anything to get that ass. And I'm being very blunt about it, and I'm being pretty, pretty who all about it. So, um, my problem is, is my relationships um, eventually became problematic. That's why I don't have any permanent relationships. Um, the girlfriend... You know, after a few, couple months or so, everything seems to be okay. Then she starts trying to do stuff to piss you off. To check if you really, quote unquote, love her or care. Um, we go to like a sports bar to watch sports or whatever, or hang around. She would go and talk to other guys while I'm at the table with a friend and with his girlfriend. And she would just do this. And basically, I would just ignore it. I would just ignore it. And she would, like, you know, do whatever she can, flirting, whatever. And I usually don't buy it. I usually don't fall into that crap. And then she's like, what the hell? I mean, she's mad because now I'm not doing anything about it. I'm not getting jealous. So over the course of several weeks, she would start nitpicking at different things and, again, trying to get me jealous. And the relationship started souring because she claims I did not love her and I did not interfere. I did not stop her from flirting. Really? We're grown adults and we're playing this high school game, junior high school crap. Until eventually, um, it eventually the relationship broke down and I says, listen, uh, She's like, oh, you don't mind me talking to other guys? And I says, oh, you're talking to the guys. What do you want me to do about it? Well, how come you don't get mad and go punch him out? Really? 
I said, listen, if you're trying to make me jealous, you're doing a bad job of it. I said, number one, I'm no, I don't fall for it. Number two, if you're trying to aggravate me or start drama, your pussy is not worth the aggravation. It's not worth the fucking high blood pressure. It's not worth it. I mean, the idea, the idea of the relationship is supposed to be trust, truth, you know, and yet you're trying to make you're trying to make drama for no apparent reason. Oh well, you know what? Well, fuck you then. Well, you know what, bitch? I'm out the door, and that's how I usually walk away. So any kind of advice I can give you about relationships or whatever is try to be truthful, keep it mysterious. Don't give her all your information on the first few dates. Trust me. And uh, if you're into the aggravation and the high blood pressure and the drama, hey, go for it, man. But a guy like me, life is too damn short for that bullshit. It's just simply not worth the 20 minutes or 30 minutes of pleasure for a lifetime of aggravation. It's just not worth it. So this is Jeff the Pharaoh finishing up in my shower, if you don't mind. It's giving you a big sign-off all the way to Mexico City. Huh? Huh?